Hi everybody. Uh, as you can see, I have my gel plate out. And that's all I know. <laughs> I'm in the mood, I think. Or at least I'm trying to get in the mood to do some gel printing. But I don't have any plans. And I want to do it in a journal, which makes it harder. One thing I like to do when gel printing in a journal is bring the gel plate to the journal. I just find it easier. So I do have my gel plate mounted to an acrylic block. Now I'm sure you can probably go to a hardware store and get a whole bunch of acrylic cut um, if you wanted some for your different gel plates. But I got this one on Joggles, and I would assume they still have some. I got this one back when I was with Gel Press. So, like I said, I don't have any plans. So I'm just going to get to it. This blue... I'd rather if it wasn't on my gel plate, but I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to try and get rid of it. I'm just going to leave it alone and we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll help with whatever it is I want to do. So I'm going to start out with some unbleached titanium. So I'm going to start with some light layers. And I already have too much paint down. I find that has been my biggest struggle lately, like where I haven't been gel printing. Whenever I do, I use too much paint. So I really don't want to get it all just in case some of the blue comes off. I want it in more than one spot. So I'm going off of my journal. <laughs> and there's so much paint that nothing came off. So I'll probably get some of that blue in the next layer. And I'm just putting this down. Some of the blue is starting to come. So for the next layer, I'm going to use some Nickel Azo Yellow. And there's still a bit of unbleached titanium on my brayer as well. Now that was a better amount of paint. So I'm going to go around here. No blue yet. I'm keeping this side, I know you can't see it, but I'm keeping the other end of my gel plate up a bit with my fingers because I don't want it going down on my desk where there's still paint on it. This is all feeling a bit abstracty. And I'm not hating it. Still have no idea where it's going, but oh. My gel plate is coming with it. There we go. And if your gel plate is small enough, you can use an acrylic block from like what you use for your stamps.
where do we want to go from here? Okay, I pulled some stencils by Stencil Girl. I don't know the names, but this one has S866 on it, and this one has S864, and it has S-W-A-T-T-O-N, so I don't know if that's the person's name, but just thought I'd give you that info just in case. And then I have this one as well. But again, I don't know the name because I don't have any packaging for it. And there's no writing or anything on this one. So I've grabbed a square gel plate and I'm thinking I don't want paint in the spaces. I want the actual lines. I want that one about there. And I want it going this way, which means I need to flip it and put it on my gel plate. So I'm going to lay that there that way so I remember. I think I have some scrap paper here. And I'm going to go in with quinacridone nickel azel gold. And that was too much paint. Way too much. Oh goodness. I'm going to be careful because there's so much paint on it that I know the stencil will move. Especially with golden paints and the fluids especially, you don't need a lot of paint. A little goes a long way. Getting rid of the paint that I don't want. And I also don't want these harsh lines. If I had a clean brayer, I could just go over where I don't want the paint and I could brayer it off. I have tons of paint on my brayer. I do you have? I'm just going to take this makeup wedge because I don't want it too harsh of a line. Hopefully I'm getting the placement somewhere around where I wanted it. I really can't tell anymore. more paint than that. <laughs> oh well. I'm going to do the same idea. I'm 
gonna lay that there just in case there's paint on it. Yeah, I think it's too dry here. The paint is drying really fast. try something different since my paint is drying so fast. I'll go for a positive. I do tend to love stencil girl stencils and joggles stencils for gel printing. And there's some crafters workshop, like old crafters workshop ones that I like too. Rebecca Meyer tends to have beautiful ones for gel printing. I'm just taking the little bits of paint that's left on my brayer. Got one little speck of blue the whole entire oh there's a little bit more <sighs> even though I'm really liking it it's still not giving me ideas as to where I want to go with it but I am really liking it I'm liking the color combo I'm liking like the geometric and then the abstract. I am liking it, which is good. I just have no clue what I want to do with it. Okay, so I want to pull in, like, I don't want just one random bit of blue paint, but I don't want a lot of blue or teal. So I grabbed this art foamy and again I don't know the name because it's not like they're not all in packaging so I really really don't know. So art foamies are great gel printing too. So I'm just putting a little bit of teal paint on my gel plate and I'm going to use it like an ink pad basically. Now you can either take the paint that's on your brayer and brayer it onto your art foamy, which I tend to do if I still have a lot of paint on my brayer. Otherwise, you can just like stamp it down into your paint. And I just want 
Ooh, I love that. Yes. And then I have this one too. I feel like this may be a Rebecca Meyer one, but I'm not positive. I think my paint's too dry. Oops, there we go. See, I liked it better without. I'm going to stop because I liked it better before I added that, so no more. But I do like that little pop. Oh, you can see it. So I know this seems like a weird thing to do, but I have this urge to do it. So I'm going to go for it. And I don't want to, like I want to add black lines, but I don't want to do it directly to the page. So, and this may not work. I don't know if it'll dry too fast. But I'm going to try and paint some lines on the gel plate. Now I'm wondering if I want a bigger one. Paint some lines and then add it to the gel plate. So this may not work. I may end up ruining what I like, but I gotta try. So I think I'm gonna go with some oval shapes since we already have. Some happening. Oh, I don't like that one. I don't know how fast that's going to dry, so I'm just going to go with that one first. So I'm hoping for like an imperfect. Yeah. See how it's like, it's not a perfect circle and it's more muted, like toned down and it's a bit grungy. That's what I wanted and that's why I wanted to go marker to gel plate, gel plate to journal instead of directly into the journal. Kind of like just mimicking the stencil a little, like the one here. Let's see if it'll print again. And it does.
should have waited a little longer to print that one. That one's a little too clean. That's better. So if you want it to be more like this, wait a tiny bit before you print it. Because I almost got a, well, it is full in some parts right there, which I don't like. I want some more grunge. Look with the black. Just not sure how I want to go about it. Okay, I think I want something big here. So while I'm trying to decide on the other grungy part, Wait a little bit. So what am I doing? Because <laughs> I really don't know. It's great that you can see through it because I can see what's here. And I think I want a part that connects these. So I'm going to lay down my gel plate and I can see through the gel plate to where my black lines are on the page. And I can draw my shape. Oh, but I did it backwards. Oh well. I did it higher on this side like when I was drawing but I needed to do it opposite of what I wanted and I wanted that line on this side but again I forgot about the whole do the opposite of what you want thing but I still like it so I don't mind I like that um, I think I'm going to draw a line that's connecting. So I need to do the opposite of what I want. So that side's going to be higher and that side's going to be a bit lower. And I think I want a little bit of almost like shading on that side. go. Is it silly how much I'm liking this? <laughs> I have no idea what it all is, but I kind of 
have the urge to color this in, like paint it in, but I don't know. I do not know. Maybe like a, a light wash so it's not completely filled in, which the golden fluids would be perfect for. I'm really liking this. So the teal is beautiful with the quinacridone nickel azel gold. I think so anyway. I think you should give the combo a try. Okay, I'm going to sit with this for a bit and figure out what's going to happen with it. Okay, so <laughs> I still don't know what it is I want to do, but this is reminding me of something I've done before, maybe. I guess it is different than that. I, don't know. I feel like I should be bold and take a chance and do something like I'm really liking it as it is I really am but I feel like I should be more bold and go further with it and I don't know if I should say this out loud <laughs> But this rock here is really bothering me because it's reminding me of something. <laughs> I know it's like a way, but this is re now reminding me of a head and a body. And this being something, even though it would be back here more. But it's all I can think about when I see it. So I feel like I need to like maybe add another rock or something plus there's four and it should be an odd number so I need to add another one to make it look better so I'm thinking I could either add one right here and then it doesn't look like it's sticking out from anything it just looks like it's laying on top which now that I've said it out loud that's what I'm going to go with So I'm trying to remember the opposite of what I want to do. Which is really hard when you're trying to draw something to fit in. So if I want that to line up, that will go back that way. So I need to go this way. I think that's all I'm going to do is just add a simple now it just looks like two large feet and he's got a rock on his foot <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have said it out loud now that's all you're going to be able to see as well So I feel the need to be daring and add some color. So I have this new paint that I got at Michael's the other day. Their paint was on sale. So I picked up this Titan Mars Pale. And I thought I would give it a go. Just trying to find something to put it in. So I want to water it down. I'm just using water, although I do have like airbrush medium and 
other stuff that I could use, but for some reason I'm using water. I need a paintbrush. Oh, my paintbrushes are so dirty. I guess I'll try this Dina Wakely one. So I want to add color, but I still, like I don't want it to be solid. I want it to be a little bit I don't know, cloudy almost. I don't know. Let's see. I don't like this brush. It's too stiff. Yeah, I really don't like that brush. This is bigger than what I want, but I'll try it. Ooh, that's pretty. I actually may keep doing that using the Dina Wakely one to get the color down. I really don't like this. And then use the soft one to fan it out and to soften it. Okay, I'm liking this. And I can still see the stuff underneath that I liked. See? Sometimes it's good to take a chance. I'm going to make this part a little darker though. I want the color. Why do I dislike this brush so much? Maybe it's because it's not what I want it to be doing right now. It's not the kind of brush I'm looking for at the moment. But I left that too long. It dried already. Damn it. Now this one's gotten too wet. Might let it be solid down here. Mm-hmm. I like that. I want that to come out a bit further.
I really like that up there. I know, I've gotten quiet. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it for that color. I want to do some... I think I'm going to go with Payne's Gray, maybe. I don't know, something's telling me no to Payne's Gray. I want like a smoky, dirty color, but not... 
black and not gray. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, something in between? Is there an in between? <laughs> Maybe I'll mix a bit of black with Payne's Gray. And Use water. Yeah. I think it's going to be too dark. Ooh. It's like, it's what I want, but it's not what I want. I'm going to continue to work on this but not talk so I can speed up the video for in editing because if I don't then this, I mean it's probably already a long video, but it'll be like way too long if I go regular speed. So I'm going to stop talking so I can speed it up.
Hi. A lot have, of time has passed since I've worked on this. And the only thing that has come to me <laughs> looking at it is that I want to add some, I don't know, something like a bit of black shading or grunge to the inside of these shapes. Other than that, I'm really not sure what I want to do. Like, I really like it. So I may just do that little bit and I may call it done. I don't know why, but there's just something in me that feels the need to continue. It's, it's like if it doesn't have a quote or this one main focal image, I feel like it's not done. But if I like it, shouldn't it be done to me? <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know if this Woody will give me the look I'm looking for. It's water reactive, so I'm thinking it should work. I'm just going to lightly go around it there and see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty much what I wanted. And just a little bit more faded out. Also, when I look at this picture, I see it reminds me of like a person, like a very, like an illustrated cartoon type thing. Like this is a person with its head down, like looking down and all sad and it's just looking at this little rock. So I actually, I did think about playing with that idea and then adding a quote up here to fit with it. But, like I said, I'm really liking it as is, and if I don't make this into a person, if I don't add a quote um, relating to what it is I'm thinking when I look at it, like my thoughts, then it can simply just be left open to your own interpretation and you can look at it and see what you see when you look at it. Just because that's what I see doesn't mean it's what anybody else would have seen when they looked at it. So yeah, I think I've decided that once I do this shading that it's going to be done. And I'm actually feeling good about that now. And honestly, I mean, who else is going to see it? <laughs> Except for the YouTube video. I mean, nobody looks through my journals. I mean, once I'm gone, maybe somebody will, but... Right now, nobody looks at them. I don't know if I've already mentioned this in this video because it looks like I used the color so I may have mentioned it. Like I said, this has been like days or weeks since I've last done this. So what I have talked about is like I don't remember. But anyway, to me this looks like quinacridone nickel azel gold. And just in case I haven't told you, 
and you don't know and you love the color, that color is being discontinued. So I was at Michael's yesterday. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. And uh, they actually still had some. They had um, a little one ounce bottle. I don't know if they have fluid. I wasn't looking at their fluid. I was looking at their, or high flow. I was looking at their fluid paint. So they had a little one ounce bottle and then they also had a four ounce bottle. So I grabbed a four ounce. I was just going to get the one ounce, but because the one ounce was like $17, and this is Canadian. And then the four ounce was, I think, 40 something dollars. So, I mean, it made more sense to get the four ounces. You're getting like one ounce for almost $20 versus four ounces for $40. So you're getting four times the amount and only double the price. So a little bit more than double. So, And my husband was with me and I can tend to be cheap <laughs> and not want to spend the money. And he's not like that. <laughs> he spends it freely. So he made me get the four ounce, which I'm not mad at. <laughs> if he wasn't there, I probably wouldn't have got any, or I would have got the one ounce and wished I had got the four ounce. So, yeah. So while that's wet, I'm just going to go in and scribble a bit. So I'm going to dry this so you can see what it looks like, because right now you're getting the glare from the water. So I will dry it and be right back. Okay, now that I've been drying it and looking at it, I feel like I want to add some um, bleached titanium to some of the, I keep calling them rocks because that's what they remind me of. I don't know how far I'm going to go with it. I guess we'll see as I start. I think I'm done. So, I hope this was an idea for you, like for gel printing. A lot of people always ask, well not so much lately because I don't gel print as much, but when I did, I was always asked what I do with the prints. Well, you don't always have to gel print on single sheets of paper. You can gel print inside your journal. Use it as a way to get a background done. I mean, I think it's kind of, 
it's easier to gel print a background in your journal than it is to paint one. Like, because beautiful things just happen when you use your gel plate. And it's a bit more freedom in the sense that you don't have to really think so much about what you're doing. Like for your background, I think beautiful things just tend to happen. That's my thoughts anyway, so play with it inside your journal and just go from there. And that way you don't have tons of these gel prints laying all over your place wondering what to do with them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.